Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily word from God's heart brought by Pastor Preeti. As you receive the word, open your soul to be encountered by him. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to this beautiful new day. The Lord wants to reveal his heart for us. The Lord wants to reveal his mind towards us. We need to know that we cannot serve God beyond what has been revealed to us we cannot worship him beyond how much we know about him we cannot seek his face and we cannot pursue his will we cannot live according to his plans and purposes unless we understand what they are unless we know how god functions in the scripture we will see so much detailed instruction given about the times the seasons the ways in which we need to bring our gifts our uh, sacrifices our worship unto the lord let's read ezekiel chapter 46 and verse 15 the context here being that the lord is showing uh, the prophet ezekiel how the temple the glorious temple uh, is going to be established in the last days and let me read the scripture Ezekiel 46 verse 15 says the lamb the grain offering and the olive oil must be given as a daily sacrifice every morning without fail this is talking about a time when the temple will experience great glory if you read the last few chapters of this particular prophetic book it's all speaking about the temple the river that will flow out of the temple the prince that will rule and reign and offer sacrifices in this temple and how the people will follow this prince without getting into too much details we are just going to focus in on this particular scripture it says that in those days there will be daily sacrifices in this temple on a morning by morning basis it cannot be that this will fail on a single morning it's not supposed to be a weekly thing or a monthly thing or a annual thing although there were special sacrifices that were done weekly ones uh, monthly ones and uh, yearly uh, multiple uh, festivals would uh, ordain certain sacrifices The Lord is saying that's different from this daily morning sacrifices. There were three things that was essential in this daily sacrifice. It says that the first essential thing is the lamb. The second is the grain offering and the third is the olive oil. Talking about it in the New Testament church, we know who our lamb is. we know the lamb that was slain for us before the foundation of the earth was laid i believe that this requires for us to meditate on the death of jesus on a daily basis to take communion on a daily basis to remember the fact that we are saved by someone else's uh, work for us remember that we cannot be righteous apart from our trust apart from our faith apart from us clinging to the finished work of Jesus on the cross we see how apostle paul would continue to uh, remind us of the importance of the cross how we have what we have because of the cross because of the death of Jesus because of the way that he laid himself down uh, for our sins and the more that we uh, celebrate that death the more that we remember the lamb every time that we turn back to focus on the finished work of Jesus on the cross we will experience a revelation we will experience an experience we will experience a encounter that is going to be a sacrifice that is going to be a worship unto the lord like i began today we cannot give unto the lord what he has not already revealed to us 
the more we experience a fresh understanding and revelation of Jesus' death, the more we will be able to offer worship and praise and glory unto God. Jesus looked at the woman that was worshipping him radically and said, This woman has been forgiven much and that is why she worships much. The more we meditate on the cross, the more we understand the price that Jesus had to pay to forgive us, to redeem us, and the more that ought to thrill us and provoke us to worship God one more time. The second element of worship was the grain offering. See, the grain is representative of the bread, which is the word uh, for us when we read our Bible on a daily basis, when we hear God's voice through a man of God, or when the Holy Spirit gives us a revelation uh, in our spirit and we know that the Lord is speaking to us. Either of the ways, this is an offering. This is a grain offering. When we receive that revelation and we respond to that revelation, that is the grain offering. And the third thing, it is equally important. It is the olive oil. Now, I would call it the revelations that are born out of an overflow, an abundance of the Holy Spirit's presence in every believer's life. When we speak in tongues, when we engage with heaven in a spiritual dimension, when we tap into the power of a spirit-filled Christian, a spirit-driven Christian, a spirit-led child of God, there are revelations that are deposited into our spirit. And when we obey those revelations, when we practice those discernments, and when we step out in faith, that becomes a, a, a worship unto the Lord, a sacrifice unto the Lord. And Ezekiel says that in that temple, in that new temple, these three things need to be there every morning without fail. I know that you're starting a new morning today. Can you begin this day with a fresh look at the cross, at the Lamb. The second thing, take some time to read God's Word and let Him speak to you and worship Him as He speaks to you. Third, spend time speaking in tongues, getting uh, the Spirit of God inside of you charged up, activated to, to connect with God in a deeper dimension and every revelation that is born, be in a worship God with those revelations and Make it a daily practice because it says that this had to be a daily sacrifice morning after morning without fail. May the Lord strengthen our hearts and our hands to do this constantly till it becomes a habit for us in this season. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed and a beautiful day ahead. Thank you for listening. As God has spoken to you through this word, share this podcast and encourage someone's spirit. Reach out to us at pastorpreji.com. May this word guide your day.